Anomaly is a really hard game, and surviving in the zone can be... demanding. So many things to worry about. Do you have enough food and water, a place you call home, or enough ammo and medical supplies to survive a gunfight? Now what if we add one more thing to worry about, something so powerful that would completely change the way we play? With a simple mod that makes the air unbreathable, we have achieved exactly that. From here on out, every filter I find could potentially save my life, at least for a few minutes until I can find some more. But one does not simply walk into the zone. We're gonna need some tanks first. Basic filters for my gas mask I can easily find, but anything above Jupiter is gonna require a full face suit, including the air tanks. The way I plan on getting them is by becoming friends with the ecologists, hoping that in the end, they will provide. But that is just a plan. I don't think we're gonna be able to rescue this guy. Holy crap, man. Hmm. So I came here to try and rescue an ecologist, but there's way too many mercenaries. And I am pretty sure the guy is very dead by now. Because they were looking at the hostage and I don't see anyone moving anymore. Which kinda sucks, not gonna lie. Because I really wanted to get this mission done. There's more people too. On my right side. Maybe a different group I think? Could be. We might as well clear the place. We should be fine though. I haven't. Uh... Well, never mind that. Yeah, these guys can be really hard to spot because they can shoot you through the bushes, but you can't do the same. Yeah, I saw that one. Somewhere here. Probably in the bushes though. There's a guy flanking me. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so... There's an emission coming in. I can hear that. Which is not good. Gotta find some cover. There's a caravan up there. That we can go, but that's where they're coming from. Gotta be quick now. Before we make it any further, I'd like to talk about the people that make this all possible. Because today's video is sponsored by Factor 75. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals to ensure that every single one of them is packed with premium flavor and nutrition. Factor menus are updated weekly, including 27 different meals and 34 plus add-on options between keto, 
vegan, vegetarian, and low-calorie meals. The meals get delivered right into your doorstep, and since there is no prep, there is no mess, which is kinda perfect for me as I can spend more time gaming instead of cleaning dishes. So there really is no excuses not to be eating healthy. And with those 27 different options per week, I am pretty sure there is something here for everyone. You can use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code on the screen for 50% off your first box, which if you ask me, I'd say that's quite a steal. And once again, thank you so much to Factor75 for sponsoring today's video. Oh wow, that was a good shot. Oh. Wow, there's a bunch of them. That's a lot of bandits, man. Seems like they're trying to take over the trailer station. Not the first time I'm seeing this. There's one guy trying to shoot me. I can't tell exactly where he is. There he was. Yeah, I knew he was far away. I could hear the gunshots whistling by my head. Wow. Oh, they're flanking. That was a close call. Oh, there we go. However, we are not done here yet, because apparently there is still one more group further south that we still need to kill. Now they should be somewhere around here. I can't exactly see them, and I don't necessarily want to go there because this place is full of anomalies. So if I shoot this one, the other one should come out. At least that's a plan which seems to be failing. But I am pretty sure I will eventually get shot at. That's a dad dog too. Yep, here we go. There we go. The mission is still not complete. So there's definitely more people here. So let me flank a little bit to the left. Yep. Awesome. That wasn't too bad. Well then, so right now I'm just preparing myself to go to the meadow. We have to find the fate of a missing ecologist crew, which we all know they're pretty much dead by now. But I wanted to take this opportunity and really just thank you guys for the amazing support during the last few months. Really appreciate it. The videos have been doing great and that's just amazing to see. I don't ask for this very often, but if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I will be so, so greatly appreciated. Well, we found the guy, but the bad news is he's not alone here. I can definitely hear some people on my right side. Oh, look at that. Hmm. That's a lot of bandits. Okay, so they are in the bushes there, I cannot fight them. Let me do something else. If I go inside the house here... Hmm, like I was saying, I should have some good cover. I don't want to push the bushes, I want them to push me. Well, it's working really good so far. There's definitely one more though. Come on, man. There we go. Well, that worked out in the end. <laughs> 
Now that is a lot of brain matter. Look at that. Jesus Christ. There's a bandit there. Hmm. So it seems like the military had a field day with the snorks here. And the snorks did not let go. Oh, they killed the burrow as well. That's not too bad then. They cleared the way for me. Awesome. Alright then, so this was a productive day. Tomorrow though, it's gonna be a big one. Tomorrow we go to Limans. And if it is anything like I think it's gonna be, with the increased spawns and whatnot, it's gonna be crazy. Just absolute madness. There we go. Oh, there we go. One more. Get pooped on. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Holy crap. Let me throw one more. idea how he survived that first grenade holy crap there's so many <laughs> why is there so many here oh that's a grenade I'm gonna throw one too Pretty sure that got someone. Hmm. A mission coming in. Well, this is actually kind of dangerous because Monolith do not die with a mission, so they can't just come here and kill me. So I gotta hold the door now during the entire emission. That was kind of fun actually, not gonna lie about that. <laughs> That's not me. Now that was me though, but I did not kill that first one. Bloodsucker maybe? Not too sure. There's definitely more though. Hmm. No. 
No idea where they are. Okay, so that's one. There's one more there. Possibly more on the right side as well. Uh-oh. Not a good spot to be. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Close call there. Can't believe it didn't hit me. Hmm. Cheeky spot this one. So we have to go there. As you can see, we're right next to it. However, the problem is... We are getting watched, man. His eyes on me. Okay, so that's one. Now there is one on the tower, though. That's the hardest one. One more. There we go. Honestly though, the things I do to please the ecologist just to get a suit. Pretty incredible. And plus, I still have to pay 200,000 for it. Or something like that. SP99 suits are not cheap. But it has been a good adventure so far. Well then, here we are in the outskirts of Pripyat. We have the suit now. It took a little while to get here, and to go back to Yantar, get everything done and whatnot. But I am not ending this video without some tags from Uni SG. There we go. But we have pretty much proven ourselves that now we can survive anywhere. Now, I have one more thing I need to do. And that's gonna be to clear the river port. This is gonna be your exit out of this wasteland. <laughs> um, and it's not gonna be easy neither. There's a bunch of monolith there and zombies as well. So. Oh, come on. Hmm. I was gonna say, let's do it stealthily, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Now, my biggest concern is. Bloodsuckers and uh, pseudo giants as well. Oh my god. I can't hit anything. Hmm. Might as well spray, right? If you can hit him, just spray them with ammo or lev, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Oh, there's a guy here. What the hell? Is it a zombie? Could be. Hmm. Creepy at the outskirts, there's always something weird going on here, so I'm not even impressed by that. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay, so those were zombies, that's why they were not aggro, but I think the first one was monolith. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it was monolith. Yeah, so they know where I am now. Damn. This scope, by the way, if you have the SPV, get the scope. Super worth the price, or if you looted, even better. I have no idea where I just got shot from. You know what, it might actually be... So there is one guy on top of the uh, river port tower. That's the place I want to take. And uh, you have the tree right in front of me, which I can't see through, but obviously he can because he doesn't know any better. Damn, that was a good shot though. Hmm. 
But yeah, do let me know what do you guys think of this type of videos. Um, I definitely want to do more of them in the future. God damn it. Trying to talk over here. How hard can it be? But yeah, I do want to make like big challenges and storytelling videos really compelling and full of action. So let me know down in the comment section if you enjoy this style. Um, if I could hit this guy, that would be great. But if you like it, let me know. Oh, come on. But I'll do more of them. I can't see the guy. Hmm. Really hard to spot sometimes. Seems clear though. I think it's clear. That's a lot of zombies, man. Damn. Good shot. Oh, them. <laughs> Those were some really good shots. But um, I think it's clear though. I think we've proven ourselves that we can survive within this world with toxic air. Really good mod. It's not really hard. We are maxed out and still not the hardest mod around. But it was really fun. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was something different. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm really eager actually to read through all of you guys' comments and probably reply to most of them, if not all of them. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. The next video is already in the works, it's actually almost done. Um, and it is really good. I I'm really happy with it and I, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it quite a lot. So. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.